city, Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. Uh, tell me, Carlos, uh, what is the prime killer on Earth? More deadly even than wars. Well, uh, let me think now. I think, uh... You idiot primate! You shall go down into the streets and do your homework. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Very good, son. Very good indeed. This camera is invaluable for my research. Corey's going to be proud of me. There it is, at last. a long trip, son. How have you been? I've been fine, Daddy. You bring me anything? Here you are. He's kind of ugly. Well, I'm not Leonardo da Vinci, you know. You made it for me, so I like it. He'll guard you against nightmares. <laughs> He's ugly enough to scare away any monster. <laughs> hey, son? <laughs> My guardian angel. <laughs> Hi there. What is it, darling? Daddy made it for me! Hey, you want to get killed, kid? I didn't see the kid. Uh, it was his own stupid fault. Recent victim of hit and run driver, um, still unconscious in University Hospital. <laughs> Poor little fella. Hmm? They really ought to lynch that driver. They're real criminals and they never get caught. It's not right. <laughs> There's just never any way of catching them. Be seeing you guys later. 
Hey, where are you going? To the university. Check some things out. Well, that's yeah. where the kid is, over at the university hospital, but it's not our affair. Sure, I know that's not our affair. I've got some things to check out in the files there. Okay. Let's go. Right. Bye. Bye. See ya. And don't take risks, George. We don't want to lose her. Ah, yes. And those high-powered speedy cars, those are the big killers. And the drivers, they're so reckless, they don't care. They run over people like they were little toys. Yes, and they shall help us in our plan. You said it, boss. Yes. I shall use their rashness and turn it against them. I will crush them like annoying little dolls. Little dolls. How about sparing a few minutes for the press? It's great. They're taking an interest. We could do some good. Mm -hmm. You're very thank kind. You. Very kind. Thank you. You too. Oh, thank you, sir. This is hand-carved. Real native art. Someone made it for your son? I did. I was up north, working for a while. Mm. The day I came home, this terrible accident happened to my son. Some tea? Thank you. Yes, thank, thank, you. thank you. He loves drawing. This is his collection. Mm. Makes the room look very attractive. Your son's sketchbook? Say, that's real good. A real monster. <laughs> He's a talented little boy. Hmm? Oh. He's waking up? Yes. as if he were reliving the accident. Why doesn't he want to wake up? What do you suppose he's dreaming about? Uh, we're not psychics, you know. More like a nightmare. Are you a journalist? Oh, I, a researcher. What ghoulish research? Well, he had a right to be angry. I wasn't too clever, I guess. Stay tuned for your highway report. Another road accident occurred several minutes ago when a speeding sports car crashed into a guardrail. The number of such incidents seems to be increasing. The report is strange. The young man driving the car insists that a monster suddenly appeared in front of his automobile. He was so terrorized by it, he panicked and wheeled the car around and crashed into the railing. He insists he was not at fault. Ready on remote broadcast, uh, you announce. This is the second report today of a crash occurring when a monster appeared in the driver's path. The first accident was witnessed by a busload of tourists on Highway 5 leading north. Look at oh, that. We had a crash! There goes another killer. No. There's something familiar about you. I've seen you somewhere before. But where? Of course, you belong to that little boy, the doll his father made for him. I wonder where that creature came from. He stands there like a traffic light, waiting for Spectre Man to get out of his way. 
and he shows no sign of fight. No, he's just a panty waste. It's monsters like that that give the trade a bad reputation. No. I wonder what he's waiting for. I can't figure him out. Where did he disappear to? He has a thing about sports cars. Hmm. Now you see him, now you don't. It's quite a trick. How does he do it? Well, you're a clever master, huh? Yes, but not quite clever enough. I intend to get hold of that creature and find out what his secret is. It's intriguing, Carlos. Strength combined with invisibility. What an idea. You could try it out on Baloo, your new monster. Oh, I was worried about you. Where did you disappear to? There's something behind these recent accidents. What do you mean? The creature those drivers see. Oh, George, that's nonsense. That little boy, the hit-and-run case. Yeah, so what about it? Did the police catch the driver yet? Mm -mm. It's difficult. A terrible thing for a little child. The boy had a doll his father made for him. They ran a picture in the television news. The creature that's causing this rash of accidents. He looks just like that doll. Like the doll? Oh, no. There's no sense to it. I've got a theory. We know that each one of us gives off electrical energies. That's a scientific truth. I think the child's mind is at work. The force of his imagination created a monster from the doll. The accident freed the creature to take revenge on all cars. Strange creature attacks sports car. Good for it, say I. It's real queer. Life's a lot screwier than fiction. George has a theory that the child is creating this creature out of the force of its will, you know. We've all heard scientists talk on the untouched reserves of the human brain. Well, it's no stranger than a lot of theories. I don't see why not. Look at the untouched reserves in my own brain. The human brain is mighty powerful. Well, that's all well and good. Yet that would mean the kid's committing murder. But isn't it just? Murder? Don't you see? He's only going after reckless drivers. Like, he's trying to show us that cars are dangerous. I agree with her. That's how a kid would think. How can we judge? Children are innocent. It's adults who are to blame. We drive the cars. It's we who cause all these terrible accidents by our reckless, ridiculous attitudes. No one should take the law into his own hands. And yet, how can one blame the little boy? accidents have been reported when drivers of sports cars crashed after seeing a strange creature who appeared to... It's all on account of that little kid. He's looking for us. You're out of your skull. Why should it be looking for us? Cool it, will you? You kill it, scared of thought. Oh, I wish we'd never hit that kid. Drive. My dear chap, you crashed into us. That's no reason for reckless driving. That creature was chasing us and we were... Quiet! Get out of the car, we'll talk. Oh, yeah? 
You're the hit-and-run driver. You're the one that ran over that kid. No. You can't prove it. There's one way to prove it. Let's go down to the police and have a little talk with them.
Just look at them. They're playing together like children. Yes, but traffic light is stupid. He thinks that Baloo is his friend. <laughs> what? The Spectre Man. Hurry up, Callus. Prepare the strongest anti-gravitation beam. Get away from that beam. Baloo is not your friend. You're in danger. Curse Gory. He's taken that little boy's dream. For what evil purpose has Gory abducted Nicholas's doll? Will the combined powers of the doll and his monster Baloo prove too formidable for Spectre Man? Watch the next spine-tingling episode. Spectre Man! Spectre Man! Human race.